Hi folks. Well the Congress is in their August recess. They're returning home to their states and their districts holding town hall meetings and many Americans are showing up expressing their displeasure concerning the health care bill pending in the Congress. They're expressing their rights under the First Amendment to the Constitution where it specifically states we are allowed to petition our government for the redress of our grievances. Well, they've been getting upset at the White House to the point where they called on their Union Nazi brown shirt thugs to show up at these meetings. You know, Hitler's brown shirt stood at his meetings also, and they stood like this, a Kimbo. Yeah! And if you expressed any displeasure towards Herr Hitler, the brown shirts dragged you outside and beat you. They certainly did. Well, last week, a conservative gentleman, he got beat up outside one of those meetings. Racial slurs were thrown at him, and he had to be taken to the hospital after being punched and kicked to the ground. So far, I haven't heard of any hate crimes being charged to the thugs that were arrested responsible for that. This week, a gentleman shows up at one of the meetings with his son in a wheelchair who happens to be stricken with cerebral palsy. And he practically gets in the congressman's face, the man with his son. And he starts basically calling the congressman a liar. <laughs> like that's a novel idea, eh, kids? That night, this gentleman was paid a visit by these brown shirt Nazi thugs because they come out in the night, not in the daylight. You see, folks, here's what's happening. History's repeating itself, all right? Hitler had his beer hall meetings where people were dragged out and whooped upon. Also, when Hitler became chancellor, they burned down the, the German parliament called the Reichstag. Then they got this hapless gentleman, beat him nearly to death, forced him to confess that he was responsible for burning the Reichstag and that he was a member of the Communist Party. That gave the brown shirts in the Hitler regime the excuse to go out and round up all the Nazis and imprison them. But excuse me, all the communists and imprison them. But they did not just round up the communists, they round up anybody who was an opponent of Herr Hitler and the Nazis. This is what the 21st century Nazis in America are looking for is an incident so they can round up the opposition also. Please do not give them that opportunity. When you show up at these town hall meetings and these union Nazi brown shirt thugs get in your face doing this, just smile. Do not touch them. Do not get upset. Smile. Point at them <laughs> and laugh. That's what you do. Nothing angers an extreme liberal more than a happy conservative. We will disarm them with our smiles and our laughter, and we will not provide them the incident they're looking for to turn this nation upside down. Okay, folks? So remember, also, most of us with our cell phones, we have cameras in them. Take them and take pictures. Bring a, uh, a camcorder, film it, post it on YouTube, so we can all laugh at these thugs. Yeah! <laughs> all right, folks, remember, we disarm them with our smiles and our laughter. We'll see you, folks. God bless you. God bless America, please. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And remember to smile at a liberal today. We'll see you. We are springing to the fall. 300,000 more Shouting the battle cry of freedom And we'll fill the vacant ranks of our brothers